have been wearing our marching shoes for years. But today we're telling Congress, we're telling the gun lobby, and we're telling the world, this time is different. And as you hear, there are very strong words from the granddaughter of Martin Luther King Jr. today as his hundreds of thousands of people march for their lives in cities across the country. And that includes right here in Indianapolis, too. That's where one woman quickly organized a March for Our Lives rally like you see here today. CBS 4's Courtney Crown tells us what the group wants lawmakers to hear. The March for Our Lives Indianapolis began here at Tarkington Park earlier this afternoon and hundreds of people showed up to make their voices heard. Organizer Liz Larner says she hoped 10 people would show up at Tarkington Park today and was pleasantly surprised when hundreds came to rally in March. She says the turnout shows that even in a red state like Indiana, people still want lawmakers to hear their opinions on what they call common sense gun regulation. Enough is enough. Larner calls for licenses to own a gun and questions why a regular person needs a military style weapon. It impacts every single United States citizen when kids in schools get shot and murdered. My daughter is about to go into the fourth grade. I was terrified to send her to school the next day after Uvalde happened. I'm terrified all the time to go do normal, basic things. Gun violence, of course, hits home right here in Indianapolis. We've had at least 92 homicides so far in 2022, and at least 76 of those. Police say happened by gunfire. Reporting in Indianapolis, Courtney Crown, CBS 4 News. All right, Courtney, thank you so much. March for Our Lives.